So to insert a lower third graphic into your show, what you're going to do is first create a lower third graphic or logo. Uh, this file must have a transparent background and be saved as a PNG. Then you're going to import the graphic into the switcher. So to do that, you're going to go into the media section. You're going to go and find your file. So right now I, I just downloaded it mine. So I press that. And then you're going to drag your photo into your your media and see mine is number two. So remember that number and like I said before, when you put your media in there, it's going to have the name and a small thumbnail of what you just put in. Then what you're going to do, you're going to go into this tab and you're going to set that media player. So you're going to go to media players, media players, and your MP2 should be your still that you put in. So mine is still to test two. So now you're ready to integrate your lower third into your show. So depending on which key you want to use, one or two, you'll press the designated button under the either downstream key one or downstream key two. To set those up, you're going to go back into palettes, downstream keys. And as I mentioned, if you're doing downstream key one, it's going to be key one. If you're doing downstream key two, it's going to be key two. You're going to put in your fill source. So mine is media player two. And don't worry about the key source because it'll do it automatically. Now, when I press on air on downstream key one, since I put it under key one, it'll show my lower third. If I press auto, it'll make a little nice mixed transition and put it onto the visuals. And your on air button will be red. If I want to tie it into another transition, so for example, I'm going to bars next and I want to make sure that it ties my lower third into the transition, I put the tie button, that'll turn yellow. And then when I make the next transition, it'll go on air with the bars. If I take off the bars, it'll also tie it with that visual. Changing the color generator sources is pretty easy. So to do that, um, right here, they're actually yellow right now. And if I press shift, it's orange. So if I want to change those colors, I go into color generators. So color one is color one, the color one button. And then color two is the color two button. So to change color one, I'm going to press the uh, square, the colored square right here. And let's say I want something pink. Okay, I'm going to pick press the pink button and I can also um, do it um, by clicking over here and I'm going to press OK and now my color one button is going to be pink so the same thing um, you can do the same thing for color two so let's say I want to change it to blue OK and you'll see that uh, it has changed the little thumbnail so now when I press color two it is now blue to adjust the color sources on the switcher, you're going to press menu, scroll the knob all the way to color generators, you're going to press set, and now you have color 2 and color 1. To change the colors, you're going to press set on the hue and move the dial to whichever um, degree you want, and there's a little uh, bar at the bottom which tells you what color you're at. So let's say I want it to be light blue. Keep on going. And then I press set and now the color one is set to that hue. If I want to do this to change color two, I just do the same. Press set and turn on the knob. And now color one and color two are set. Just press menu to head back to the main screen. If you want to set color two and color one on the switcher, once again, you go into program sources, set, and go to color one or two. Changing the transition settings is very easy. All you have to do is go into the palettes, transitions, and you'll see mix, dip, wipe, and DVE. So if you want to change the mix, for example, you just press mix. So in the mix, you can change the rate. The dip, you can also change the rate, but you can also change the dip source. So that's the source between um, the first visual and the second visual. The wipe. The wipe settings include changing the shape of the wipe. 
the rate, the symmetry, the position, the direction, and include borders or not. And finally, the DVE settings allows you to change the direction of the push, the rate, and different effects that you might want to include. Near the transition settings is also where you can change the fade to black setting. So there are only two settings to the fade to black, which are the rate and audio follow video. The only issue with the fade to black is that since the audio is coming from the radio board, there is no actual change if you um, select this or not.